I'm in. Right, going to Great Yarmouth for a gig with the Alter Eagle today. First, I need petrol. We are here, and also I do have a guest. First time on camera. Hi. She doesn't like being on camera. I don't know where we're playing. It's some kind of holiday park. <laughs> <laughs> over the Dawson Bridge going up high to the right you can see a nice view of London or is it mainly near blue water? Dawson that's it you can't see the shards you can't see the shards <laughs> we're in Dartford how is this the shards? behind my ways behind the complications that seem Big Ben <laughs> And the boy is home. Interesting gig, I will say. Um, there's a lot of bands on and we had like 15 minutes to, for the other band to come on and for us to go on. No, everyone was like that. So there was no sound checks. Um, can't really say there was a line check. Um, and <clears throat> we were using the rented gear. So we were using some Marshalls. Um, I think it was, it, mine was a Marshall TSL. Now I'm a single channel amp kind of guy, so having three channels and the band before um, were quite heavy, heavy rock, you know, which is cool, which is cool. But um, but you know, so the guy had like the gain on ten, no mids, no everything kind of scoop, so not bad a sound check and quickly just trying to sort it out. So ayo, but um, yeah, I didn't really film too much today there. Um, I felt a bit off, to be honest with you, and when when we got there, I just felt weird. Um, I, I don't know, I just wasn't 
can't really say stomach ache or anything like that. I just didn't feel great. But all you missed was us have a carvery, um, my wife's dinner, which was not very nice at all. And me and Laura play some um, air hockey and Laura kicking my ass. <laughs> but all in all, it wasn't a bad day. Like I say, the gig wasn't great. Um, when I was playing, actually, my, my left forearm went so tense. I was doing a solo in one song, I've forgotten which it was. And my fo whole forearm was just so tense and it was pissing me off. I couldn't play very well. But, I know. But um, I'm now going to watch the final of the People vs. OJ Simpson I've been watching. Um, actually, if you haven't done so already, check out O.J. Simpson Made in America. It's like it won an Oscar, um, seven hour documentary it is. Um, I'm quite fascinated in the O.J. Simpson um, kind of murder case. Um, when I was in L.A., if you've seen my L.A. vlog, I'm sure I'll put a card link up there now. Um, I went to Bundy Drive where Nicole Simpson and Ron uh, Goldman were murdered, uh, which was quite eerie. But um, yeah, that documentary is awesome. Seven hours, but it's awesome. And this People vs. OJ Simpson is very, very good, actually. Anyway, my Sunday night is signing out with a wick of my favourite, one of my favourite mugs. Good evening! How you doing? As it was a bit of a short vlog, I thought I would uh, extend it a little bit. Now, today I have been practicing for quite a few hours. I've done a little Instagram live. Some of you saw me on there, hello. If you're not on Instagram, make sure you follow me. Uh, taught some lessons. Now, I'm gonna make dinner. Because I said in a vlog, oh, just before Christmas, that um, I like to occasionally cook. So I'm gonna do one of my favorites chicken pad thai. Though I'm not very hungry at the moment, but the stuff's in the fridge. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna marinate the chicken for a bit. Amazing! I'm balancing a selfie stick with a breadboard right now because I haven't got a camera tripod. So um, this is working. Right, what I'm gonna do first? Chicken pad thai. I love it, right? So I'm gonna get a bit of chicken, right? This is new for today. I'm only gonna need one because it's just for me. Now what is important is to cut off, actually there's not much on this one, but just to cut off any unnecessary fatty bits. So we're gonna do that with the breast. Shopping, shopping, shopping just for me. Before you ask, I did wash my hands before chopping and touching the chicken. Now to marinate it, I'm going to use two tablespoons of fish sauce and two tablespoons of soy sauce. I might not make it a full tablespoon uh, because, just because it's me. Uh, so we're going to do that right now. Fish sauce, soy sauce. I'm getting a bit low on soy sauce. There you go, I might as well use it all up. All right, now mix it together. And now ideally you want that to rest for as long as possible. You know, half an hour, an hour. The longer the better really, because you're marinating the chicken overnight. Um, I'm not letting it sit overnight. I'm probably gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes. But while it is sitting, we can prepare all the other stuff we're gonna need. One frying pan, some bean sprouts, coriander, some spring onions, a lime in a bag, a lonely egg, Caramade paste, some brown sugar, some peanuts, and don't forget the noodles. Well, I'm back and my hair is annoying me, so it's, it's up. Um, so, I've got a pan, I wanna whack some oil in. And you wanna get that like as hot as you can, basically. You want that so it's bubbling up. So when the oil starts to bubble, then you're whacking your chicken. Get a pan of water. Now I'm gonna wash my spring onions. I'm gonna use three, I might use another one, I'll see. And now I'm just gonna cut off the ends. And then just basically do strips, little strips. So then they look like that. Now this oil is getting nice and hot, so now I can put the chicken in. But be sure to keep some of the sauce for later. Stir that bad boy about. 
And just like with guitar, it's all about prep. So I've got the spring onions, now I'm gonna cut up the coriander. And of course, wash the coriander before you cut it. Coriander cut. Now this is a stir fry, so make sure you stir the chicken. Now we can add the rest of the fish sauce and the soy sauce. Get a little pan and whack your peanuts in. Now whack a little bit of salt into the water, which is already boiling, and that's where our noodles is gonna go. Noodles! Now look at that chicken. It's marinated all nicely. I've got the wrong spoon, but oh well. But you see what I mean? It's looking marinated. Now the chicken is firm, we can whack in everything else with it. Bean sprouts. The spring onions. Two teaspoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of this uh, town-made paste, which is always a bit awkward to pour in. There's one. And there's two. Get that all in there. Mix it about. Shake the peanuts. <laughs> and now we get a juice of a lime, just to get rid of, uh, you know, you want the sweet and sour kind of tastes. Peanuts, shake the peanuts. I was gonna turn the heat down actually on the, uh, Go. Right, warm these bad boys through. Now we crack in our egg. Pop that, let that go round. Now we can take the noodles off. That wasn't hard to do with one hand at all. <laughs> Throw the noodles in. Coriander going on top. Nuts out. Eee! Chop them up. Now we're going to sprinkle some of them in with the pad thai and give it all a stir. Get a dish and serve this sucker up. Waste not, want not. So there it is. There. Oh, look at it. And then we're going to get some, uh, some more of the nuts and just sprinkle these on top. Bada bing. And that's my chicken pad thai. Mmm. Bye bye. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>